you are producing now, which is amazing. Love that. Well, basically, grew up listening to like, reggae, and got into metal, played jazz, all sorts of bands, and then finally got into uni. Had the first time, just started producing them. Basically, and then hit the circuit last year, see how the DJ progressed, and then this year, and the next year, hopefully, as well. So, what type of sort of tunes did you wear back then? That's what you felt like this night, and you just felt like what was. It was all. Well, the initial dub set music I heard was all Malek, and this one is Deep, that was all the stuff that got me totally hooked on the dub set, and yeah, it's completely addicted to that. And then it kind of escalated into the filthy stuff with Malek, and then it just went after the story, but I'd say it's probably the most filthy thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's that was that was showing the tunes to tell the truth. And even though you 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 sang on the very clean, yeah, that's the normal type of tune, very clean, not very not very inclusive grinding, but at the same time you get to the point of that you still like the tune and Yeah. yeah. Right now I'm entering Roxanne in bold lettering, lettering, step 
stepping in Lost your favourite MC, check the bin I wanna know what set you're in And who rests with her and him So, what's up, top right? Know you like right? What's your studio like? What you're doing in your studio? Oh, well, it's constantly moving, mate uh, So, a little set up at home house, but over the last few years I've been using university stuff, like printing that to your own friends, but uh, just recently got a hold of like, studying gear and other stuff, so at home really, yeah. So how did the concept came from, it's like, like, you mixing all these sort of artists, like, you're doing it? Um, okay, you're building them sort of artists, and so how it came up, how did that, how did that come about, basically, um, Ellie was the first legit and it was actually a boot though, but it was the first kind of major rights I did before she got signed so she sent me that song and I, kind of, I just I was just working with people I worked with before that and kind of I don't know from producing stuff I just thought I could do something with it and then overnight I made it it got bleak and then that's kind of the start of it yeah and then the format and how I wanted to work was just it happened then and I saw the path and it became a bit more obvious so let's talk a bit about the one step scene itself. Um, I've noticed with your actual sets, like it's a match here, you said, but you know, what I've read, that you incorporate a lot of break. Do you find that's because that you want to give the audience something a bit more than just the dubstep that flavour, or do you feel that you know, dubstep is not becoming dry, but becoming more. It definitely is, um, there's a few parts. Yeah, it's become, there's a few paths it's taken, you know, it's, it's kind of, there's a, like the chasing states, and then like, the drum and bass and all that stuff, focus on it's really, and then it's got as well, and then it's like, but like, kind of, takes the angle on really, really good music, that is really accessible, and then there's the other route, which is just, it's just like the feel through, it's people just trying to make the feel through, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it could get a bit dry, but some of it's good, some like, it's debatable, and then, but so it's probably going to be because it's such an early genre, so we have to spot exactly, the same yeah, yeah. artist as well. Because it's such an early genre, it's quite easy to make something that is out of the norm, but it's only got a lot of people yeah. right, so it becomes a genre in its own. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then there's a series, there's a series coming out of the series. It's, just, it's been around for ages, and people are still making the same with the original music, like track, track, track. But um, no, it's exactly, you like said, it's really young, and it's sort of old. So where do you see those that going in the future now at the moment it's very much mainstream, it's very much accessible for everybody now, everybody's going to push that one way or the other. So where do you see going from here? Do you find it's going to be more yeah. a bit more underground now to get back where it was or do you think it's going to go even further? I think, um, I don't know, it's, and where it is at the moment is it seems fine, I think it's almost gonna stay and it's like going into the underground, coming back out and it like more successful. We'll it's never it's, well. it's gonna be this in like curve to it's not I don't think it's ever gonna drop back into underground or go straight to mainstream because there's always gonna be tracks that people listen to pop records are gonna actually take and I'm never like quite understand it and some people in the But I suppose what means more to will become more saturated with more mainstream, people trying to push it more mainstream. I think it might, but there's definitely going to be a limit on it. The sound's definitely one you can't. I know, as with everyone, well, most people that are into it, you feel the music, you don't get it, you don't get it. It's, kind of, it's, always, a, it's always a good point, I think. It's definitely a complete saturation. Yeah. So let's talk a bit about your productions at the moment. What have you got at the moment? How are you? Um, I couldn't give you. Solid days of what could probably for August, early August, first week of August is my first single. Um I think we've done all the moment we've done. But um what we're we talking yeah. hush hush here or pretty much, yeah. And then there's um I'm working on actually this is really great to come down and say. Alright, I'm I'm doing some work on a few people's singles and albums up to Christmas, but it's gonna be under James Jacob not that one. Right, okay. Um and yeah, I'm producing a girl from Tony XCX, she's coming out, so I've done underrated talent, she's been absolutely doing like MIA style. Um, she's really cool, she's on the side of them. There's one thing you can actually ask, actually, and um, Dubstep in America is absolutely huge. Is that yeah, because it's it, is it more West Coast thing? Because you understand that the West Coast is more of a 
and you know that sort of tempo, that sort of beat. Yeah, yeah, it's all the slow beat, but then there's a bit more active. They like, I don't know, I've seen that people don't really, they like the, the heavy hitting stuff, they like the milky stuff and the, the really energetic music, but um, yeah, I guess it's just like to really, that's what I mean. So you see, you push it out there, big time, yeah. Don't forget, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They're killing it twice, I think. But yeah, the dubs that do it from like all the way around the world now, so the more audience now yeah. is actually what you just call it. South Africa, that's my dog, yeah. Being yeah. people from South Africa, like, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. But, um, but it's a good thing, like, yeah. Anybody in the world can understand it, yeah, so it means, I don't think it will, it's like pretty, it will always stay really cool. Stay fresh, hopefully. Stay tasty, fresh, yeah.